What is up YouTube? We're currently in the jungles of <laughs> Malaysia. It's definitely Malaysia. Definitely Malaysia. Yeah, we are going to catch some giant peacock bass hopefully today. Some giant tamensis. Let's go. Good evening, Blueberry people. I apologize if today's audio is a bit off because I'm currently at home narrating this from the comfort of my chair because A, it was raining and B, I was, getting, I was planning to get into the water so my camera was in a waterproof housing for my camera so I didn't want it to get wet so because of the waterproof housing, it cuts the audio down to about like, like 2% or something so you can barely hear anything on the original tape Except like me hitting the camera and making a <laughs> noise, but otherwise, that's why I am using. I'm doing a voiceover from the comfort of my home. Hopefully, you guys can enjoy it. So I continue fishing at this corner of the lake for another like 15 minutes, but I didn't manage to get the first fish to strike again. So I decided to like pack up and move on to other parts of the lake because this is quite a big lake in Malaysia. If you're not getting any strikes from a location after fishing it for like 15 minutes, it's a good idea to either A, change bait or B, move on to a different location. And since I'm fishing quite a big lake here, I decided to just go with my B option which is move to a different location and cover more water before changing bait. And here you can see my friend, Adler, he just got snagged because he couldn't cast for his life in the rainforest. So I had to break out another snap for him because he also ran out of snap. The worst fisherman on the planet. And here you have my single and ready to mingle friend, Adler. And if any of you girls watching is interested, just drop a comment below or watch to the end of the video. I'm gonna leave his Instagram in my video. You can go check him out, go slide a DM into his inbox, whatever you want. Here you can see I got bored of not catching any fish, so I decided to step into the water, go for a little walk inside the water so I can cast my bait further out to where I think the fishes are. By the way, if you're planning to wait in a water, body of water to fish, make sure that there are no crocodiles in the water that you're actually wading in. Crocodiles will give you a bad day, man. So basically, when I'm at this new spot, this is the very first cast I made. I'm using a Rapala x rap Countdown 5cm. It's a small minnow type of lure that sinks. Oh, and here I got a strike. Basically, it's a small minnow uh, lure that sinks, and then while it sinks, it wobbles left and right, left and right, left and right. So it is a very, very nice finesse bait. I feel for weather, for like colder weather where the fish is not as active as they should be. But anyway, I'm catching this tamensis. It has like a really blue back, as you can see in the video. It was a beautiful, beautiful fish. Incredibly blue back and the, the dorsal fin. I'm not sure. I think this is a full tamensis, but kind of have a bit of like azu azu genes inside it. I'm not sure. I'm not a biologist. Yeah, and then you see there's a floating lure in the water. That's my friend's. He casted to it because I told him to like cast near my fish because I saw another pair of uh, another peacock with it. And he casted it, and but in the end, he didn't manage to get that fish, but instead, he got my line which tangled up with my fish flopping around but basically over here I lip grip the fish oh by the way right if you are fish if you if you use a metal lip grip and on a, on a fish like a peacock bass with quite soft mouth be sure that you hold the lip grip at the same angle as the fish's mouth meaning it's not like a 90 it's not like anything more than maybe like a 30 degree otherwise you'll poke a hole through the fish's mouth and that's not good for the peacock bass and I'm not sure if you guys like understand what I'm saying with the 
angle and stuff but look like I'm holding the lip grip right now at the same angle as the fish I know some people who like to hold the lip grip like horizontally while the fish is vertically and then the lip grip the metal thing will like pierce through the lip and create a huge hole in the peacock bass mouth that is not good for the fish at all so please avoid doing that if you're using a metal lip grip as you can see in my last clip he absolutely choked on that x-ray calm down this is a beautiful fish it's got beautiful red eyes it's in like free breeding color or whatever and I'm gonna release him back into the water to join his wife maybe make some Tammy babies who knows maybe his wife already swim away or something well we'll see thank you for the fight fish now at this point I'm still fishing the exact same lure as I did that I caught that last Tamensis and I'm working it uh, kind of slowly letting it sink and then pulling it up a little bit and then letting it sink again and then right about if you oh, do frenzy frenzy if you look at like 12 o'clock no actually my 1 o'clock just now there was like a flurry of blow ups a frenzy as you would call it feeding frenzy so I casted my lure all the way there let it sink for like uh, 3 or 4 seconds and then start reeling slowly and BAM I got hit I got hit again but this time I don't it wasn't a big Tammy I think didn't put out much of a fight really didn't like less than 20 seconds here we go yeah it's a juvenile Tammy there was a school of them over there just busting on baits and I casted this lure out let it sink all the way to where I think the fish are reel it a little bit and BAM got a strike Oh look, in the background there was like one blow up. But anyway, I'm trying to land this fish right now, barely hooked on the lip. A bit dangerous to put my hands there, so I'm trying to get my lip grip into his mouth. And there we have it. Oh yeah, when I go weight fishing, usually I like to keep a pair of, uh, like a pair of pliers inside my pants pocket. As well as maybe a pair of scissors or a knife with me. You know, just in case it's more convenient, so if I hook a fish, I need to like... I need to take the hook out from the fish, it's more convenient, I don't have to walk all the way back to shore or sometimes I carry a knife with me just in case like if I hook into a big fish that I need to break off or something or like somehow my leg get tangled by the fishing line or something, I'm in the water a knife can help me cut the line really fast so it's like for safety purposes as well yeah so now that I got the hook out of this peacock bass I'm gonna release it really soon after I get a good shot oh look at it Small but cute. Hopefully, it goes into a big in sometime in the next year or more or a few years from now. And goodbye, fish! Alright, he's on his way home. Now, let's see if I can get another one. Now, one of the worst things about using a uh, waterproof housing for my camera is that you cannot hear the drag noise at all. Which is quite important, especially when you're about to hook up with a big fish like I am right about now. Uh, casted the lure diagonally to my left. Oh, bam! Got a huge fish on. It's like peeling drag right now. You can't hear it, but it's like... So I gotta simulate it because you can't hear it. So basically it's... And like... Now it's like, where is it now? Oh, and then splash. Probably you can't hear that too, so I'm gonna sound effect. Yeah, fighting it doesn't want to come out. Oh, it's a decent peacock. Oh, but unfortunately, it broke my line right here. In fact, it broke it with my lure on it still, too. Like, it broke past the knot, or maybe at the knot. I don't remember. This was like a few weeks ago. Yeah, breaking fish off always sucks, man. And so here I'm gonna about to complain to my friend. I realize it's not as big as I thought it was. I think probably because I was using quite a quite a light lighter setup. It was it's a four to ten adventure on like ten pound line or something. But yeah, it was fun. Unfortunately, I lost my. I think that was the best peacock bass that I hooked into for this day that I fish. So basically, I complained with to my friend like the whole rest of the whole day, and I couldn't sleep. The whole night. Now nah, I'm just kidding about the sleeping part. I could sleep well, but what a waste, man! For this trip, I only managed to get about two hours of fishing time because of the time that we bashed in, and uh, it was a long walk to this lake. 
from the car, from where we park our car. So basically, that's about it. Um, uh, this is the first time that I'm doing a video like this where I narrate from the comfort of my chair onto a video that I recorded. Uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this, give if you don't like this format, give it. You can give it a thumbs down. So maybe I'll know whether like I should make like a full music plus fishing video or should I do like a narration video with a little bit of dope B rolls and music into it, but at the same time giving some tips on what I do, what I like to do at a reservoir, stuff like that. Yeah, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you did not, give me a thumbs down. You can comment what I should do better. And I got nothing else to say. Maybe we'll roll into some dope and credits right about now. And Edla, he almost caught one. Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> I caught one. It was like you. He slipped away. Like, one meter uh, is away. it? You saw yeah. it? Yeah. But you still didn't see it. It was like. Duh, 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 duh. But you still didn't do the bunch. Yeah, that's why. Oh. Yeah, so I saw the silhouette. Alright, so now we're going to eat now. See you guys on the next episode of Blueberry Fishing. Say yeah. Are you going to punch it? No. <laughs> 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 Boom.